getting to a topic here that uh, we're both we both play in on the real estate side. Would love to hear what you're doing in real estate. I've seen you tweet a little bit about it, how you got into it, just your thoughts broadly on it, and then we'll uh, we'll go into some of the details. Well, I mean, I'm I'm definitely not doing the same thing that you are. Uh, I've just kind of piddled in real estate here. I you know I flip some flip some properties, like flip some land. Uh, I've got some rentals. I've bought some rentals. I've sold some rentals. So, you know, it's been a good kind of base of, uh, of income for me. Um, it's not, you know, been like life changing. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been, uh, I've, I've had some, you know, some good deals. Like I, I made, uh, about 30% on a two month hold. I, 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 bought it and then I had a buyer two weeks later and closed about two months later. Nice. On a, on one property. Um, another I held for about uh, a year and got a buyer and I'm going to make, I think about 50% on that. So these are all cash deals. This is basically like a really illiquid market. It's impossible. It's not impossible, but it's really difficult to get bank funding. If you do get bank funding, you either you have to wait a long time for it. It's you're, you're super bureaucratic. It's not fast, and uh, and then you know you can uh, uh, you can still also end up with a crazy high interest rate if it's like an investment property. So a lot of the people who you know basically do this for a business here, um, you know, buy and sell properties, they're doing it all in cash, and yeah. so that's what I've been. You know, that's how I've uh, kind of played in the. Panamanian real estate market is, you know, all in cash, uh, you know, buying and holding, getting yield and, you know, buying and selling, flipping. Are they like sing single family homes or what are you ta targeting? Like just houses for people to rent or what are you looking for? Uh, could it just anything that's cheap could be a vacant lot. Um, could be a uh, single family home could be, you know, a couple homes, duplex. Do most people rent? Is it like, because of the how hard it is to get financing and banking, or are there a lot of renters there? Is that pretty common? Yeah, it's definitely common for there to be a lot of renters, and uh, and you can make you know pretty decent income on uh, properties here too. Uh, you know, like the I'm not going to say it's it's like as expensive as the U.S. because it's not, but you know, let's say that it's half the price of the U.S. Um, and you know maybe in you know here in the town that I'm in, I mean you know. We'll, we can get during the high season, you know, a couple hundred bucks a night in a one bedroom apartment. So it's not, you know, like Miami prices, but, uh, it's also not nothing. And yeah. the labor is, you know, significantly cheaper. Um, the expenses are significantly cheaper. So, uh, yeah, you can do okay. You just got to make sure that you don't pay too much. And so it's like mostly short-term rentals, like people just renting these for like vacation stays or people that need to stay at them. Or I've done both. I like. I think I like the short term more, um, just yeah. because you know you make more money. You know you uh, you you make more money even with the problems uh, doing short term than you do on the uh, on the long term. And you know once you once you've got somebody you know responding to guest messages and doing check ins, you know like fixing stuff when there's problems, you know like maybe on a Sunday when there's nobody else here, I might have to run and fix something.